Okay, hello. My name's Tracy McCurlane Burns, and I'm the chair of Health Watch in Tameside. Um, in terms of who I am, um, I'm a nurse by profession, um, and I've worked in Tameside as a nurse. Uh, we're an independent champion uh, for people who use health and social care services. We're here to make sure that those who are running services, including the government, uh, put the views of the community at the heart of their plans for care. That's our function, to ensure that we collect opinion on the experience of care and share that opinion and experience with those who have responsibility for planning and delivering care so that they put those views at the heart of their plans. So um, Action Together has a contract with the Tameside Metropolitan Borough Council to provide the Health Watch in Tameside contract or, or service, I should say. Um, and the board is responsible for setting the strategic direction for Health Watch Tameside. Um, the board ensures that we deliver on our vision, our aims and our values. Um, and the board has an important governance responsibility, not least ensuring that when we publish reports making recommendations, that we follow up with those services to understand what the impact of those recommendations has been. I think the important message to start with is the fact that all board members are volunteers. Um, so Healthwatch Tameside is looking to recruit some volunteer advisory board members. Um, the board itself meets between four and six times a year. And we've recently moved a large part of our meeting into the public agenda. So we encourage members of the public uh, to come to our board meetings. We're looking to recruit members of the Tameside community uh, to our advisory board. And on the website, there's a list of criteria that we would be looking for. And those criteria include um, examples such as someone who has perhaps uh, worked within the health and social care sector, or perhaps someone who has experience of leading an organisation or someone who has strategic management leadership. And we're not expecting everyone to have all of the criteria that are listed on the website, uh, but to be able to give examples in their expression of interest of how they would be able to demonstrate some of those criteria. Okay, well, the good news is uh, the information will be available on the public Healthwatch Tameside website. Um, and the equally good news is that there is a telephone number on the website. Uh, therefore, if anyone has concern about making an application uh, or an expression of interest via electronic means, if they ring that telephone number, which is 0161, 667-2526, the team in Healthwatch Tameside will send them paper copies um, of the application process. So in short, it's an expression of interest. When the expression of interest is received, a member of the team will make contact with that person um, and send them all of the necessary information to make an application. We'll then have a process that runs in the background to have a look at those applications prior to um, selection, if need be, uh, for interview. And it will be an informal interview and then an induction process. <laughs>